as an artist, there are many different rules that you may use in order to help you compose a piece of art. In photography, one of those common rules is the rule of thirds. You see it talked about time and time again. Cameras are even implementing this in the back of their menu systems. You even have rule of thirds on your phone as an option. Before photographers, composition doesn't start and end with the rule of thirds. I think it's just one of the ones that's easiest to remember because it's the most talked about. Luckily for us, the people at Adobe are smart enough to know that there are more rules than just the rule of third. And they've built it into Lightroom. If you head on over to the develop module and you click on your crop tool, by default, you'll probably see the rule of thirds grid. You can switch between different compositional rules by hitting the letter O. Here we have diagonal, triangle, the golden ratio, golden spiral, and the aspect ratio. Last, you have the grid. Hit O one more time and you're back to the rule of thirds. Now, not only can you toggle between the different compositional rules, if you hold the shift key down while you hit the letter O, some of these you can actually rotate them. So here you can see that the triangle is flipping back and forth as I hold the shift and hit the letter O. Same is true for the golden spiral. If you hold shift and hit the letter O, it'll rotate. And last but not least, on the aspect ratio as well, if you hold shift and hit the letter O, you'll see some different positions here, horizontal and vertical. Don't box yourself into one compositional rule when there are several other compositional rules that might work better for your photograph.